Hello, my name is Nathan, and I just wanted to record a video to demonstrate a AI voice bot that I'm working on with a client and kind of explain the process and functionality of what it can do. So um, the first step was to kind of outline a blueprint of what would happen um, when a caller calls a number. And so again, this is for a water damage business. So they're in the water damage restoration business and they're trying to book uh, appointments for their team to be able to um, give an estimate and drive business. So um, if I, let's see if I can scroll it down a little bit. Um, okay, there we go. So essentially, if we start at the top here, um, we have the greeting, hello, this is Chloe with water damage restoration. Is this a water damage emergency? And so then we can see um, we have yes or no's response. And um, the AI can also handle other responses if it's not as clear or a little bit vague. And if the caller doesn't answer the question, then the AI will reiterate um, until uh, it gets an answer to answer the question. Um, and so the ideal or the, the end goal is that depending on the responses to each question, the caller will either be transferred to the water damage um, dispatch team, um, or if it's not a good fit, it'll be the call will be hung up politely, or it'll be transferred to the mold dispatch team. Right, so um, we can just see that um, the first step was to kind of outline how the call flow should work and then it's been built. So let's test it. Um, so I'm gonna dial a number. Hello, this is Chloe with water damage restoration. Is this a water damage emergency? No. Is this call related to a water damage emergency? No. I apologize, but this line is dedicated to water damage emergencies. I'm not able to assist you with your current issue. Have a good day. So we can see that by interacting with the voice agent, um, they determined that I was not a good um, caller for the types of calls they're trying to receive. And so they politely end the call. So let's try it again, but maybe work through um, with more positive responses. Hello, this is Chloe with Water Damage Restoration. Is this a water damage emergency? Yes. Is there standing water? Yes. Please hold while I transfer you to our water damage dispatch team. Okay, I don't want to actually go through with getting transferred to the company, um, but uh, that was a, uh, a, a different workflow. Um, with different responses. So let's try that again. Hello, this is Chloe with water damage restoration. Is this a water damage emergency? No. Is this call related to a water damage emergency? Yes. Is there standing water? No. Is there any part of the inside of the house that is still wet? No. Do you see or smell any mold? Yes. Please hold while I transfer you to our mold dispatch team. And so you can see in that workflow, um, I got routed to uh, be transferred to the mold dispatch team. So anyways, uh, the purpose of recording this is just to um, kind of explain the process of um, you know, how we build out a, a workflow or a flow chart for how callers sh should be um, routed and then um, after building the vo AI voice agent um, we're able to add a tracking number or a call number to um, where the vo AI voice agent is able to answer that call and um, and route callers appropriately. So the, obviously the benefits of this is um, it's 24-7, seven days a week and you can also handle many concurrent calls um, and uh, so this is going to be a great use or this is a good use case to either replace an IVR um, with a more interactive experience um, and there's you know countless other um, examples of how this can be used as well. So anyways I just wanted to record this to share this with people and if you have any questions please reach out. All right thank you.